Joe Budden finally reveals why he did not release the controversial Diddy episode unedited. That's right, on his most recent podcast, Joe Budden decided to address the criticisms of how he runs his podcast head on. For those of you that don't know, Joe Budden finds himself in controversy as people are observing that he is treating this Diddy situation very differently than he has treated previous situations with similar storylines in the past. And on his podcast, he decided to finally break down why he does not want to talk about the Diddy situation the way the rest of the listeners or whoever in media wants him to. So here's what he said. One of the reasons he said was that Diddy listens to his podcast. And I think that pretty much gets at the fact that they have some type of relationship. And he also has been kind of on the other side of that. Remember when Joe Budden used to have those DV allegations on his jacket and Charlemagne would talk about it, would joke about it. I think now he's saying that he's on the other side of that and he's not going to deal with it the same way Charlemagne treated him. That's how I see it. Call me a psychoanalyzer. Also, he says he wanted to put up some legal protection and by paywalling his content, he can flag people who use it and immediately take it down. I guess Joe is no longer wanting people to clip his content and react to it or use it to make statements with him as the lightning rod. Overall, I find this very interesting as Joe usually has the content strategy where he loves people sharing his content and clipping it and reacting to it. So it's interesting for him to do this in this situation and I wonder if it's because it's Diddy and how powerful he is, right? If this came out at about Adam 22, would Joe have this same stance? It's a lot going on. There's a lot of nuance to this, but let's keep on to why Joe Budden is treating this Diddy situation differently than how he's treated, let's say, L.A. Reid in the past. He also says that he chose not to talk about the situation because what if Diddy actually blows up people's cars? Remember in the lawsuit, Cassie alleged that Kid Cudi's car, a.k.a. Mr. Solo Dolo, was lined with a bomb and it blew up and it could have been because Diddy wasn't feeling it. You know, Diddy was on the, on his uh, casino wave, you know, in casino where Robert De Niro's car blows up. Maybe Diddy is actually like that. So Joe Budden doesn't want to anger a man who is capable, allegedly, of doing something to that effect. Now, Joe did this jokingly, but guys... While we may not know if Diddy blows up cars, we do know that Diddy is about that life and likely is the biggest gangster in hip hop that has gone unnoticed for many years. Of course, there's all these rumors of bounties that people have been putting all over the internet, but there's actual things that have occurred that people might have forgotten. Remember Steve Stout? Remember when 50 Cent said, After the VMA Awards, my baby mama cussed my ass out. I kicked the ass. We back friends like Puppy and Steve Stout. He said that for a reason. And that reason was when Diddy ran up on Steve Stout for depicting him as Jesus in the Hate Me Now video. Ah, all right, you, we doing the science now. There was also the incident between a UCLA football coach and Diddy due to some playing time issues that might have arisen when his son was on the UCLA football team. I mean, Google that man. Google that man, Diddy. He is really someone you don't want to play with. It's not a game. People think it's sweet. He, you know, he kind of gives me the MC Hammer vibes where, you know, you see him dancing, you see him, oh, 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 and then you don't realize that he will beat your ass quicker than a New York minute. It's it's really a, a scary situation. So, I, hey, man, I ain't even mad at Joe for saying that. Diddy is a scary dude. I mean, this whole time we thought Suge was the dude putting in, you know, the, the pain. But Diddy's still standing after all these years, man. It's, it's crazy. So now what are we supposed to take from all of this? Are these reasons valid? Or is Joe Budden gaslighting his audience and creating a multitude of reasons for why he can't talk about P. Diddy? Let's say another TV exec akin to Harvey Weinstein gets into a situation like this. 
is Joe Budden going to talk about it? Or is he going to do the same thing? Like, hey, these are just allegations. Let's wait. Let's see. I don't know, y'all. I don't know, y'all. And Joe Budden also said something interesting in this episode. He said that we'll never find the truth out now because Cassie might have went the whole route of the civil suit and got the money. I mean, listen to the podcast. That's how I interpreted it. I just want to say this is through my lens. This is not Joe Budden's actual thoughts. The thoughts, views, and opinions of Danny from the stop are those from Danny from the stop and not necessarily those of the people that he covers. Please refer to this tag moving forward. So let me know what you think in the comments. A lot of people are upset. A lot of the fans are upset. If you go on the Joe Budden Twitter TV community, people are upset, man. And I, I know I kind of feel for Joe to some extent. You know, sometimes you got to watch what you say when you get to a certain level. And that's what Joe's saying here is that, you know, the pod is at a certain level. He has to look out for his political connects and so on and so forth. But let me know what you think in the comments. Like I said, pod wars are getting crazy. I still got the flip video coming. You know, he was giving it up crazy on the Twitter spaces. I was recording those. <laughs> so, you know, I'm going to be on YouTube with it. All right, y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, The Stop TV, Twitter, The Stop TV, and see you around. This is Danny from The Stop. Peace! The thoughts, views, and opinions of Danny from The Stop are those from Danny from The Stop and not necessarily those of the people that he covers. Please refer to this tag moving forward.